Yo, what is up guys, your boys Akagi here with a new what if, and this what if is what if Naruto had a symbiote. The symbiote in this is going to be mainly based off Eddie Brock, Eddie Brock, yeah, his Venom, uh, so no web slinging, this isn't Spider-Man 2.0, and technically he won't have Spidey senses, but his reflexes are going to be super high, so it's basically like Spidey sense. So yeah, Discord link in the description as well as a link to some fire anime merch in the description. And with that said, let's just get right into the what if. So we'll be starting this one off 10 years before Naruto's birth to when Orochimaru was still in the village. So in a regular Orochimaru fashion, he's been experimenting on orphan kids and one day while Orochimaru was out of his lab, he saw something like a shooting star but it came down and crashed like nearby him. So Orochimaru went to check it out and he found a rock at the crash site but something weird was there. This red goop was crawling out of it and this caught Orochimaru's eyes. So he contained it and returned to his lab and Orochimaru dropped it on his desk and be began observing this creature and said, it looks like it's searching for something, maybe a parasite. And hearing this, the goop started pushing against the walls even harder and Orochimaru said, okay, seems it doesn't like being called parasite, symbiote it is. Now, let's test a few theories. So, Kabuto, he retrieved uh, one of the test subjects and like a minute later he returned with a orphan kid and Orochimaru released the symbiote onto the kid and it started covering this kid's body but the symbiote could tell this body was far too weak, it was frail and the symbiote unbound itself from the kid but in this process killing him and Orochimaru quickly grabbed the symbiote so it wouldn't escape and he would continue his experiments for about a month but Hiruzen would catch wind of this and this is when um, Orochimaru would be banished from the village um, like still with the symbiote and becoming a rogue ninja. So we skipped uh, around 10 years later to the Ninetales attack and you know the masked man is fighting against Minato and after that the Ninetales is sealed within Naruto. So this entire time Naruto has been living with Hiruzen for about 3 years now fulfilling uh, Kushina's wish but that didn't last long because Naruto's for Naruto's 4th birthday Hiruzen he gave him the best present a 4 year old could ask for his own place to live, you know, real smart there Hiruzen. So Naruto starts getting used to this life and seeing Hiruzen now and then, getting money for food now and then, but Donzo was about to end this man's whole career. He starts spreading rumors that Naruto was the Ninetales, was, was the Ninetales, not the Jinchuriki, he was just an embodiment of the Ninetales. And the zero IQ villagers were like, what I, I was always wondering where those whiskers came from and it must be true so with that little thinking the villagers started hating this kid for just existing and for this they wouldn't let him into stores allow him to buy anything Naruto's life was pretty messed up so one day Naruto decided to get away from things and he went to the forest and began walking through and just like I think it was a filler episode like Naruto went fishing and was cooking up uh like cooked up some fish he was playing in the river and Naruto was just having a fun little time and on his way back home he came across a small crater and in this crater was a weird looking rock and Naruto picked it up because it looked cool it was completely black it had sharp edges and surprisingly light for a rock the size of an adult adult fist. So Naruto started walking back home and he was blocked by three bullies and one of them said, if it isn't the demon, you pay for what you did to my mom. 
And Naruto was confused, like, my guy, I've never seen your mom in my life. And the bully said, shut up. And one of them grabbed the rock from Naruto's hands and said, what were you planning to do with this, huh? And he threw it back at Naruto, like slamming right in his face. And this caused Naruto to fall backwards. And Naruto held his nose and started crying. And he said, I, I never did anything to any of you. And the main bully said, whatever, come on guys, let's teach him a lesson. But the rock next to Naruto started to come to life and formed like a black goop around Naruto. And Naruto's hand started moving on its own and he was freaking out, which is honestly a natural reaction to some black goop starting to cover your hand. And one of the bullies went to punch Naruto and without even thinking about it, Naruto's hand blocked the punch and pushed the kid back into the others, knocking all of them to the ground. And Naruto looked at his hand with this black stuff all over it, and then it disappeared into his skin. And Naruto starts freaking out, and he rushes home. He looks into the mirror, and Venom covered half of Naruto's face and said, Hello. And Naruto freaked out so much, he passed out. <laughs> so, while Naruto, he's trying to comprehend what's happening, if any of you didn't catch it, this isn't the same symbiote that Orochimaru has, well, it kinda is, but it isn't. It'll all make sense later. But yeah, the symbiote right here is different from the one I mentioned at the start. Also, if you guys are enjoying this what if so far and you want to support your boy, go check out the link in the description for some fire anime merch. Um, the website is fandom. They have some awesome designs from Demon Slayer and Naruto to MHA and Attack on Titan. Any anime you love, they will more than likely have it. So cop anything you like for this holiday season. And remember to use code Izukage for 5% off. Now back to the what if. So Naruto, he woke up a few minutes later and something in his head spoke to him and said, I thought you wouldn't wake up. Hurry up and get yourself together. That Hokage guy is showing up. And Naruto doesn't know where this voice is coming from, but hearing that Hiruzen is coming, Naruto quickly makes his bed, you know, puts all the dirty plates in the sink, and then uh, Hiruzen opens Naruto's door, and Naruto was casually leaning against his counter, and Hiruzen walked in and asked Naruto, like, how was everything, and Naruto just said, uh, everything was alright, and... Uh, like he was trying to play it cool this entire time while the symbiote was talking to Naruto as Hiruzen was so it was really hard to balance both conversations but eventually Hiruzen left and Naruto said okay okay shut up I just want to know why me you said you crash landed here over a decade ago and the symbiote said well I sort of lost a piece of me you could call it my offspring and I need to get it back and Naruto was confused how this thing has offsprings, but he's just rolling with it. And Naruto asks uh, something else, like, what is your name? And the symbiote thought for a second and said, call me Venom. And Naruto is like, well, all right, Venom, my name is Naruto Uzumaki. Maybe we can work together. And Venom said, sure. I also know about um, your goal to become Okage, so I can really help out with that. You know, I was sifting through your memories earlier when you were knocked out. And Naruto didn't know how to take that, but sure. So for the following four years, Venom was teaching Naruto different things, mainly just uh, studying in preparation for the academy, learning about chakra, and also Naruto learned about Venom's, let's say, appetite. So... Naruto feeds Venom with one person a month, and that's the deal they came to. Now, the this morning is the first day of the academy, so Naruto woke up and ran to Ichiraku, and Naruto started scarfing down bowls of ramen. He went through 10 and still wasn't done, but he didn't want to be late for school, so Naruto ran off leaving Teyuchi with a mountain of bowls to clean. But with his, you know, mystical powers, Teyuchi would have it done in no time. Since we all know Teyuchi, he is multi, like multi-universal level. <laughs> he has some god powers. So now when Naruto walked into class, he saw all the friend groups talking to each other and such. So he went to the back of the class and Naruto sat there, sat there for a while. And finally, Iruka comes in, like their teacher. And he begins to call roles saying, uh, Kiba, Kiba is like here, Naruto here. 
And once he's finished and Iruka starts getting into like normal class things, off rip, Naruto is at the top of the class. He's a top student. He's answering every question Iruka shot at the class. And to the point of where Iruka is like, Naruto, can you let the others answer? And Naruto just, he's, he's banned from answering any more questions for the rest of the day. So people were surprised, you know, Naruto was never really a social kid since he got the symbiote so, so early, he never acted out pulling pranks or anything like that. And while Naruto is just sitting around, Hinata was staring at Naruto this entire time. And Venom said to Naruto, I think that Hyuga over there has been looking at you for a while. And Naruto shrugged it off and said, so what? And Venom said, so what? Bro, she 100% likes you. And Naruto's like, you don't know that. And he's like, Naruto, trust me. I'm the best wingman alive. She likes you. And Naruto turns his head to Hinata and she quickly broke eye, eye contact. And Naruto thought she's like, he's like, oh, yeah, she, she might actually like me. So the day went on and don't think I'm forgetting your guys' question. The question for this video is, what was the first Jinchuriki the Akatsuki captured? And I'll even give you a hint, it is not the first tales. So yeah, so as the day went on, the day went on without much issue, but by the end of their lunch break, Iruka came into class and told everyone that they'll be having a little physical test so they can track everyone's growth as they develop in the academy. So everyone, they're excited, they finally get to do ninja stuff. So they quickly line up at the door and Iruka leads them outside and outside they already have prepared an obstacle course, a bunch of wooden poles and Iruka starts to explain everything. So first they'll do the obstacle course, he'll time everyone and then they'll do, um, they'll balance on wooden poles to check, to test their, well, how well they are at balancing and finally a sparring match. So everyone there are excited out of their minds. So they, cr they quickly rush over to the obstacle course and everyone rushes through with Uruka trying to keep track of everyone. And finally after that, they have wooden poles that they stuck into the ground that everyone would climb up on and have to stand on it with one leg. And here is them with time how long they could stay balanced. And so far, Naruto is doing really well because just just having Venom has increased Naruto's like physical strength and stuff like that passively. Now, when it came to the uh, sparring matches, Iruka, how he would pair everyone together is they would draw sticks from a cup and people with matching lengths would be put together. And just like in canon, Naruto is paired up with Sasuke, so let's not waste any time and go right to their fight. So as Naruto and Sasuke are facing each other, Venom says, Let's see how you fare against someone your own age without me, and remember everything I've taught you. And Naruto nodded, then Iruka started the match, and Naruto and Sasuke ran towards each other, and started going blow for blow in a taijutsu bout. But Naruto got a, a good hit in, and this sent Sasuke back a bit, and everyone was surprised at how even of a match this was. Even some of Sasuke's die-hard fangirls were impressed, and Naruto's abilities, and Sasuke as well, obviously. And he smiled and said, okay, this is starting to get fun. So the two of them start going at it again, Sasuke getting a few hit in and so is Naruto. Venom then spoke to Naruto and said, remember your greatest asset. And Naruto then nodded and he jumped back and everyone was wondering like what Naruto was planning to do. And Naruto put his hands together like he was forming a jutsu and everyone's eyes widened like a first year academy student who knows a jutsu? This isn't possible. This shouldn't be possible. Well, Naruto wasn't doing a jutsu, but focusing his chakra into his feet, which he learned with the help from Venom, you know, because Venom would tell Naruto to actually go out of his way to learn stuff, like learning from scrolls, and Naruto would be pretty good at chakra control. So Naruto looked at Sasuke and said, I've been training almost my entire life. I won't lose. And Naruto dashed at Sasuke really fast, faster than he could react, and punched him repeatedly over and over, with Sasuke using his arms to block Naruto's onslaught of attacks. But Naruto kept making him step further back, closer and closer, until he stepped out of the arena, giving Naruto the win.
and everyone cheered for Naruto. Every single fangirl was cheering. That fight was amazing. Of course they wanted Sasuke to win, but Naruto showed amazing abilities and they can't deny it. So both Naruto and Sasuke returned to the crowd and when Naruto was just standing up, Sakura, Sakura walked up to him and said, that fight was pretty cool I guess and she walked off and Naruto raised an eyebrow and Venom said, just take the win kid, girls like that never tell the truth. So as time went on, Naruto would become good friends with almost everyone in the academy except Kiba who's, who like who named himself as Naruto's true rival, but everyone knows Kiba's not doing anything against Naruto. <laughs> so, four years later, and we are at the graduation exams. These exams were the same as in canon, where you would just do a clone jutsu, but uh, Sasuke, he wanted more than that. He wanted to fight Naruto for the role of Rookie of the Year, and Iruka saw that their grades and uh, physical scores were pretty close to each other, so, you know, why not? So Iruka prepared the two, the two to have their rematch, which Sasuke has been preparing for for the past couple years. And before this match, Venom told Naruto he shouldn't underestimate Sasuke, because while they were busy getting friendly with everyone else, he's been training. But Naruto said, don't sweat it, it'll be, like, I'll be able to handle it myself. So the match begins and Sasuke infuses chakra into his feet, just like Naruto did all those years ago, and Naruto's eyes widen and he gets punched across the face without expecting it. But Sasuke wasn't done. And he said to Naruto, I found an even more clever way to use this ability you showed me. And Sasuke covered his fist in his chakra, and this chakra turned into fire. Sasuke ran up to Naruto and started punching him in the gut, burning a hole in Naruto's shirt. But when Sasuke got back, he realized Naruto's skin took zero damage. There wasn't any signs of burns. And Naruto looked at Sasuke and said, Good thing I healed pretty fast. Then Naruto weaved hand signs and said, Win style, win bullet. And Sasuke easily dodged this by jumping up in the air. But since he was in the air, Naruto had the perfect shot at him. Like, Naruto's hand co was covered in Venom's tendrils. And he punched towards Sasuke, and Naruto's hands extended all the way, punching Sasuke across the face, and he fell to the ground. And Iruka, who was the like only one on the sidelines since this was a secluded area for the fight, he was baffled by what he just saw. And Sasuke got up and said, I knew you were holding out on me. Fire style, multi fireball jutsu. And, Sa and Sasuke shot out multiple massive fireballs, and Naruto dodged the first two, but Sasuke set it up perfectly, and the third one hit Naruto head on. And Venom tried protecting him, but it did damage to both of them, since, you know, fire was one of Venom's few weaknesses. But they recovered pretty quickly and were back on the offensive, and Venom said, let's show this kid a portion of her strength. And Naruto smirked and covered his hands with uh, Venom's tendrils, and Naruto ran over to Sasuke, who had both his arms covered in fire and started fighting against Naruto, who was trying to end this quickly because of this fire. So Naruto used his black tendrils and swiped at Sasuke's legs, knocking him over, and Naruto held a fist over Sasuke, which had Venom's like goop all over it, making Naruto's fist massive, like four times its regular size. And Sasuke said, oh, whatever, I forfeit. And Iruka, he's he, like, he was so caught up in the battle, he didn't even hear Sasuke say it. So Sasuke had to repeat it. He's like, I forfeit. And Iruka is like, oh, oh, sorry, uh, Naruto Uzumaki wins. And with that, Naruto is assigned the Rookie of the Year. It was a close fight, but hey, it was a good one. And Sasuke, he was a good sport about it. So they returned to the classroom, and Iruka broke the news to everyone that Naruto won. And of course, the fangirls were sad, but Naruto, he, he's built different. <laughs> So uh, after this, uh, Iruka, he says he needs to get all the paperwork together and get the list from the Hokage himself for what 
for the teams that everyone's going to be on, so he tells them to return the next day. And not only them, but you should return the next day because that is where I'm going to be leaving this one off. Guys, I loved writing, loved recording this what if. So if you liked it, like, and if you like my content in general, consider subscribing. And yeah, also, if you guys have any ideas of what you want me to do for this what if, definitely, definitely leave it in the comments. Even if it's something small like a power you want me to give Naruto, just anything helps. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. I remember, like and subscribe. <laughs>